heaven, West Virginia. Hey guys, it's Matt from A Quarters Effect, and I am going to be talking about the DOJ suing Texas over the redistricting map that they have created for the 2022 and 2024 election. Now, uh, I'm going to go over the uh, article I found about it and uh, give you my assessment of why they're doing this. Because what they're, the reason they're saying they're doing it, it's not the reason. So let's go ahead and take a look at that article. Just in, the DOJ sues Texas over redistricting map that denies the rights of Latinos and black voters on account of their race. There's more to it. The Justice Department on Monday sues Texas over its redistricting plan that denied the rights of Latino and black voters on account of their race. The U.S. Attorney General Merrick Garland says the map violates the Voting Rights Act. The department's career voting law expert have assessed Texas' new redistricting plan and determined that they, they include Districts that violate the Voting Rights Act. Attorney General Merrick Garland says at the presser. Now I'm going to show you a little clip from that uh, presser, and then I'm going to give you an assessment of why the DOJ is actually suing Texas. Today, the Justice Department has filed suit against the state of Texas for violating Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. As the Supreme Court has observed, a core principle of our democracy is that, quote, voters should choose their representatives not the other way around, close quote. Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act requires that state voting laws, including laws that draw electoral maps, provide eligible voters with an equal opportunity to participate in the democratic process and elect representatives of their choosing. The complaint we filed today alleges that Texas has violated Section 2 by creating redistricting plans that deny or abridge the rights of Latino and Black voters to vote on account of their race, color, or membership in a language minority group. All right, first thing I want to talk about is the comment he made in his presser where he says, uh, the voter has the right to vote for their uh, person that's going to represent them, not the other way around, which I'm in complete agreement with him on. But the fact is, is every state does redistricting. And when they do, the people in power of that state do that redistricting. So in California and New York, Democrats do it. And in Texas and, say, Florida, Republicans will do it. So the fact is, in all those states, those parties are going to do the redistricting to benefit them, to make sure that they win that state, whether it be local level or national level. Now, there's nothing that's going to change that. The fact is, the reason he's going after Texas, because he believes, and the Democrat Party believes, that they have a chance of winning Texas in 2024 for the presidency. And there's no chance in hell of that happening. Now, it's number one. Number two, why isn't he going after California or New York? Because they make it harder for Republicans to win in those states. It's because of the party that's in power right now in the White House. In my opinion, this is a direct order from the Biden administration to go after Texas and try to uh, change their redistricting laws to make it easier and perhaps a chance for the Democrats to win Texas in 2024. And uh, they think they're going to win the Latino vote in 2024. The fact is, in 2020, they didn't win in Texas. They won uh, Democrats 46% of the Latino vote, vote in Texas. And what's the reason? It's because Trump did such a great job with the border. And they appreciated it. Now you see what's going on at the border now. And the most pissed off segment of people in Texas that are mad about what's going on at the border are Latinos. Now, do I think the Latino vote is going to come out that big for the Republican Party again in 2024? Absolutely. I think it's going to be even bigger. And another reason I believe they're going after uh, Texas is because of what happened in Virginia. And what happened in Virginia is actually scaring the Democrat Party as well as the mainstream media. Because in Virginia, the Yunkin campaign, what they did was uh, they had a phone crisis hotline for anybody that sees anything strange that happened during that election. They could call, report it, 
and their lawyers would be on top of it. Not only that, he had 500 lawyers there in that state alone. And the other thing is, they also had every single position that Republicans get in, could get into to observe the election, such as counters, uh, people observing the count, so on and so forth. 95% was taken. Now, if you look at 2020, only 25% of the positions were filled. They see this and were willing to participate in the electoral process now. Democrats are scared because now they can't get away with the same stuff they did in 2020. That's why you see Democrats as well as the mainstream media so scared because they're saying that the Republican Party is trying to subvert democracy by participating in democracy. Doesn't even make any sense. But guys, that's my opinion. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit like and subscribe. It helps the channel grow. Peace.